Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Roberta, for coming. Welcome in Prague again. I really appreciate it that we'll be with Roberta Metzola, President of the European Parliament, pay tribute uh, to all the victims of mass shooting in Charles University. I really thank you for this. And as well, we discussed uh, during our meeting about upcoming elections to the European Parliament, about the topics we uh, share and we try to solve together because in the United, uh, in the European Union we are united uh, in uh, these solutions and this is very important I would say. First of all, uh, the topics I uh, think is uh, the security. It's uh, very important for all of us, for the Czech Republic as well because we are such close to the Ukraine and Ukraine is still in war. And that's why we have to uh, communicate about, uh, you know, solutions help Ukrainians to win the war because Russian imperialism is here and will be here in the next future as well. That's why it's important to solve other you know, uh, topics uh, connected with uh, our resilience. Our resilience is uh, in all the levels possible and I think important is in energy, energy supplies and uh, uh, sufficiency of uh, our energies. But as well, uh, we are connected because uh, it helps us uh, in trade. So to strengthen our uh, cooperation in the uh, European Union when it comes uh, to uh, our trade and markets uh, is uh, very important to be more uh, efficient and then resilient to all uh, challenges uh, which are coming from other points of, uh, or other parts of uh, the world. So uh, these were the topics uh, as well. Uh, I raised the question about uh, under-representation of uh, Czechs in uh, the EU institutions. We are slowly but uh, uh, increasing our uh, representation in EU institutions and I'm very happy that uh, Madame Metzola uh, is uh, one of them who is uh, taking chance for Czechs and uh, her team and the institutions, uh, but uh, this uh, underrepresentation is one of the topics we are discussing all the time when we meet each other, and I think it's important for us as well to feel the bridge between Czech uh, Republic, Prague, and uh, Brussels, and all the institutions as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and uh, good afternoon to you all. Thank you, Marketa, for this uh, wonderful welcome in uh, beautiful Prague, uh, a city uh, that I always like to visit, the centre, a very heart uh, of, uh, of uh, Europe uh, and the European Union. Uh, in a year, uh, that is very important. Uh, 2024 will be not only uh, the year that uh, we uh, celebrate uh, 20 years of uh, Czechia, Czech Republic in the European Union, but also that all our citizens will go to vote uh, in the European Parliament elections between the 6th and the 9th of June of uh, this year. Uh, one of the topics uh, that I first uh, raised uh, is uh, that I would like more Czech citizens to vote in these elections. The turnout uh, has traditionally been quite low in these countries and in this country and I uh, am conducting this uh, what we have dubbed get out the vote tour uh, in uh, uh, going from one country to another to encourage as many people not to let other people decide for them. Uh, we have seen this before uh, in the Czech Republic. The European Parliament uh, is that institution that will over the next five years uh, be the place where decisions on where Europe, but also where um, Czechia uh, will go, uh, whether on security, on defense, on the environment, on uh, protection of farmers, on migration, on enlargement. All these topics that hit to the very heart of what Czech citizens are talking about, and as I will talk with uh, young people uh, in, uh, in university later on today, but also with Prime Minister Fiala and with President uh, Pavel. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, very quickly, but also the importance that I placed on my first stop uh, in Prague, uh, in, uh, just before the Jan Palach um, uh, monument, uh, not only uh, to commemorate uh, the uh, Czech hero, but also to um, uh, 
bring memory and also express solidarity with uh, the tragedy that took place um, with um, the assassination of uh, young uh, Czech people. For us, uh, that was important. And for me personally, it was important to be present there uh, with the teachers of the students uh, and representatives of such a symbolic institution in Prague that is the center of uh, that uh, freedom of expression and freedom of speech.